Did Jesus die for all or for many? Does this question trouble you? Do you wonder for whom Christ died? There are many who go throughout life wondering how they can have confidence of eternal life, how they can have confidence and peace with God in this life. Today's quote points us back to the truth of God's Word and reveals to us the truth about Jesus and who He died for. We'll look at three truths that will help you be confident that Christ died for you. The gospel is open to all. The most respectable sinner has no more claim on it than the worst. Hi friends, I'm Pastor Josh, and I'm passionate about sharing truths with you that will help you grow on your journey to be more like Christ. Each week I share multiple quotes that point us back to the Word of God. I've been a pastor since 2005, and I love finding creative ways to point you back to God's Word. Eternal life is a question that all of us must face. Some don't want to face it. Some refuse to even acknowledge the question exists. And yet today we're going to ask the question, did Jesus die for all or for many? The Bible makes it plain that Christ died for all. But this is a lesson that D. Martin Lloyd-Jones had to learn when he was a young child. And it's a question that each of us must face. D. Martin Lloyd-Jones was born December 20, 1899 in Cardiff, Wales. He was born to a grocer and he had a couple brothers. It was during his young childhood years that he experienced some tragedy and yet learned that God's love for him was real. D. Martin Lloyd-Jones' brother died in 1918 because of the Spanish influenza. One of his brothers ended up going on then to become a judge on a high court. And yet he himself wanted to have his life count for something, to make a difference in other people's lives. This was one of the driving factors that caused him to study medicine and he became a doctor. And he loved helping other people physically. But there was some truth that made it even more real in his life. And that's the truth that God loves you and God loves others. And this truth changed the focus of D. Martin Lloyd-Jones' life and he left the practicing medicine to go and share God's word with other people. He pastored for a number of years and it was while he was pastoring that he was passionate about teaching others that Jesus Christ died not just for some, but that he died for all. Romans 3, 20 through 24 says, Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ, unto all and upon all them that believe. And there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in His blood, to declare His righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God. From this passage reveals to us three facts about eternal life. Number one is because of your sin, you can't have eternal life with God in heaven. You have no righteousness. The Bible talks about in verse 20, obeying the law and how it doesn't justify you. The word justify means to regard as innocent or righteous. Remember, D. Martin Lloyd-Jones, he, he looked at life, of course, through the word of God. One of his brothers became a judge and he understood what it meant to justify someone. This is a legal term. Here in this passage, we're reminded that we are not justified or completely innocent because of our sin. But there's only one way we can be justified. That is through the blood of Jesus. Friend, because of your sin, you can't get to heaven. But because of Christ's righteousness, you can get to heaven. Again, it's not left up to you. It's not something that you can do in your own. It's through the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Verse 21, but now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. The Old Testament law revealed that the Jews could not keep all the commandments of God. And friend, neither can you. And you and I cannot be justified because of our sin, but we can be justified because of the righteousness of Jesus Christ. But not just because he's God, but he as 100% God took upon a human body and became 100% man as well. And he died after living a righteous life without sin. 
He died on the cross to take the punishment that you deserve. You can go to heaven because of the righteousness of Christ. It was manifested or made visible through Jesus Christ. He demonstrated his love on the cross, Romans 5, 8 says. So friend, you can have righteousness, God's righteousness, and thus go to heaven if, because of your faith in Jesus Christ, you trust in him. We said number one, because of your sin, you can't get to heaven. Number two, because of Christ's righteousness, you can. And ultimately, that third fact that the Bible teaches in this passage, because of your faith in Christ, you can be confident in heaven. It's not just because Christ died for all, and friend, he did. He died for all. He's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But there's a perfect standard, and you and I can't match that standard. But if by faith you receive the free gift that Jesus Christ gave through his death, burial, and resurrection, when Jesus died, he said, it is finished. But friend, have you received that gift of salvation? Not confident in your flesh or in the works of the law, but confident in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for your love. I thank you for each person who took time to listen. God, if there's someone who's listening and they don't know Jesus as Savior, God, I pray that you will help them to put their faith and trust in Christ, Jesus, who paid it all. Lord, I pray that you'll help them today to see Christ die for their sins. And it's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Friend, if you're watching and you don't have confidence of eternity with Christ, today's scripture reveals those facts so that you can know Christ is your Savior. And friend, if you do know Jesus as Savior, would you go and share this truth with someone else today that Christ died for all? The gospel is open to all. The most respectable sinner has no more claim on it than the worst. Friend, I'm so glad you took time to stop by today. If you're interested in other quotes that point us back to the truth of God's word about salvation, click the playlist right here. Otherwise, until then, I encourage you to dig into God's word so that you can continue to develop the mind of Christ. I look forward to seeing you next time.